Hey, Callum, so how are those simulations going? Are you able to capture the uh, phase transition in superprotonic cesium hydrogen sulfate? Um, I think the tetrahedra, they mm -hmm. look like they're transforming. They're starting right. to vibrate a lot. Okay. Uh, but the cesium atoms are not transforming uh, to the tetragonal mm. phase. Mm. Mm. So do we have a plan? What do you think is next? Um, I don't really know. So I think we better schedule a meeting with Bill. Okay. Uh, do you have something, a time in mind yet? Uh, yes. Today at 2. Oh, great. Oh, Sorry, tomorrow at 2. Actually. Tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. at 2. Well, I, I actually have a meeting with David Baltimore at that time, but you know what? I'll reschedule. No, no, Did hold on. Tomorrow at 2 a.m. Uh-huh. 2 a.m. Yeah. Well, that's fine. We can still do it. You know, Bill is so hard to get a hold of. It's it's yeah. absolutely yeah. worth it. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 All, right. All right. So now, remember, whenever we go to see Bill, you have to say what you're going to say in that first few minutes. Because mm. remember, you got to practice. you got to say... You know, because otherwise Bill is going to get distracted with some other topic, or he might fall asleep. Yeah, well, yeah. so I schedule at 2 a.m., but yeah. we'll see. Okay. okay, all right, good. All right, so you, you ready to practice? I'll play Bill. Uh, oh, okay. All right, okay. Uh, hey, hey, Bill, how you doing? Hey, Callum, how are you? Come on in. Yeah. So uh, I'm here today to discuss the, uh, the, the simulations that we're doing on cesium hydrogen sulfate. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah, remember yeah, we're trying fantastic. to, to, to uh -huh, do the, uh -huh. the yeah. phase transition yeah, from yeah. monoclinic okay. to tetragonal. Yeah. And so good news, good news, yeah, uh -huh, the, uh -huh. the tetrahedra sulfates, yeah, and the and the hydrogen, they seem to be librating, librating. So, uh, uh, okay. so okay. that means that I think that they have transformed, um, but the cesium atoms, the heavy cesium atoms, are not transforming from monoclinic to tetragonal. Tetragonal. Oh, right. Okay. Right. So that's the transition. So what have you done so far? Uh, I started with the, you know, DFT mm -hmm. calculation in Jaguar, mm -hmm. and then I took those results mm -hmm. and made a force field in the driding, driding using driding force field, and then I ran the, the simulations. I ah. ran the simulations. Uh, so, you know. so that means that you must have just done it wrong. You just have to start the whole DFT over. You can't get it wrong. It's, it's all... Atomistics, it must come out right, so you have to start over. Don't get Mr. Screw. I'm not conceited. I just like doing what I do. Hold on, man. I enjoy my life. No soldier boy, he's comfortable. When you get comfortable, you look good what you're doing. Don't be mad, haters. Let me grab it, let me hit it from the back Yeah, I'm soldier boy at the <laughs> Million dollar cat Riding in the drops, I found them with them 24 inch shiners God damn, I be stunning I be getting to the money And they say I talk country And she say she like gunning And I like the way she looking And I like the way she staring <laughs> Hey, Bill, I hear you've published a thousand papers. You're 200 ahead of me. I'm not sure you have as many citations as I have, but uh, I'm going to try to catch up with you. Happy birthday, man. We love you. Uh, we published a lot of good stuff together, and I'm looking forward to working with you some more so I can catch up. Happy birthday again, Bill. Hey, Bill. It's Ned. I just wanted to add my... Uh, greetings and uh, congratulations on your impending birthday and on your impending thousandth publication. Very impressive. And uh, also, what's going to happen relatively soon is you're going to enter triple digits, from what I can tell, on your H number. So, uh, we've been collaborating for about a dozen years, and I'm looking forward to the next dozen and the dozen uh, past that. All the best. Take care. So first, Bill, congratulations on your 1,000th paper. I did a little bit of homework myself, and I found that we have collaborated 
enough that I think I can count 1% of your time. I think we have, or a little over, I think we have 11 papers together. And um, it turns out 1% is enough. It's been a terrific uh, time working together. Um, there's a few memories I have of Bill. First, I love his penchant for Hawaiian shirts. Um, second, um, even with just 1% of Bill's time, I have found that um, that's actually a lot of time. There was a paper that we worked on a few years ago. It was a joint between myself and Nate Lewis and Bill. And what we had done is put methyl groups onto silicon 111 and image them. And it turns out that if you lower the temperature, they stop spinning and then you can see the little propellers of the methyl groups. And that was pretty cool. Um, but it turns out that um, there was something a little off. And, and the structure we were seeing of how those method groups were oriented with respect to the silicon 111 lattice was not quite right. And Bill came in one morning and um, said he thought there was a stacking form. And it turns out that was the right answer. And I was pretty amazed to have been working with uh, Bill in this for a long time. And then to have, you know, Bill go home with all of the, the massive group and everything that he runs and um, lose sleep over the fact that these methyl groups weren't quite lining up with the silicon lattice exactly like they were supposed to. It was a, a, a great experience for me as a collaborator to have Bill thinking about something like this. But it also turned out to be a very cool piece of science. Um, a few things that I think about when I think about Bill is that he does remarkably ambitious science. You can't, um, there's like no theoretical problem that's too big for Bill to tackle, and um, it, it makes it a tremendous amount of fun. But on top of that, um, the uh, Bill and the people that work for him are pretty darn good at figuring out using the pencil and paper what's going on before they. Um, ever go and uh, put their substantial computational machinery uh, to work. And I think without that, you can't tackle big, big problems. And, um, so that's been a very impressive thing for me to learn. And um, let's see, what else, what else do I want to bring up that I... Well, oh yes, and the other thing is that one of the most entertaining things that one can do here at Caltech is to be with Bill on an oral committee of one of his students because every time Bill passes the oral he tells you everything that's going on in this group with relating to the project the student is supposed to talk about. The student pretty much just has to sit there and smile and have Bill describe everything and it turns out to be just a marvelous um, a scientific discussion. It makes me want to be a graduate student in Bill's group. <laughs> and um, anyway so I hope for the next 1,000 papers that I also get 1% of your attention because it turns out 1% is a big deal. Thank you, Bill. Congratulations.